Hi guys, so for today's video, what I thought I would do is take my favorite Dollar Tree DIYs that I've ever done and put them all into this one video. I've been gaining a lot of new subscribers. I just hit the 200,000 mark, which was just so crazy to me. Thank you so much for subscribing. And for those of you that are new and don't know that I have done a lot of DIYs in the past, this video is for you guys. And just so that you can all have um, the Dollar Tree Halloween DIYs in one video. So that was the purpose of this. These have already been done. I just wanted to compile them into this one video for you. So this one was pretty recent and I did it a couple of days ago on my channel and I wanted to figure out a way to like create my own Halloween candles. I see a lot of really cute candles you know in stores like TJ Maxx and home goods and even more so like on Instagram do you ever just like scroll through those Halloween accounts or fall accounts and there's just those beautiful aesthetic photos and there's always just the coolest candles and I thought how can I go into Dollar Tree find items and then you know make my own cute candles so that's what I'm sharing with you guys and yeah, so this these DIYs are so simple, by the way. I don't feel like my DIYs are very hard to do whatsoever. I think they're super easy to follow and they're also very inexpensive. So these candles turned out very, very cute and I love them. Of all the DIYs I have ever done, especially with Halloween, this one is my favorite. It's just number one. And actually my previous number one before this one is in this video and I'll mention it when we get to that one. But as soon as I created this Halloween decor piece, I just fell so in love and I hope you guys love it and even more so because it's just so incredibly easy and also very customizable to however you want to make your spooky houses and that's what I'm doing. So these little wood chip house silhouettes are from Dollar Tree, the paints from Dollar Tree, everything's from Dollar Tree in this DIY and even in the previous candle one as well. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to create these spooky houses and yes I could have made them look a little bit more aged a little bit more spooky um, but I actually wanted them to look like a shadow and a silhouette so I didn't want to add really any detail to them so and they just turned out so cute again my favorite DIY of all time from Hol for Halloween um, and then you can do so many cool things with this as well. I didn't get a nighttime shot in the original video, but you can also use LED candles that Dollar Tree has. They make ones that like change different colors and then you can put it behind the house so that at night you can turn your LED flickering candle on and then it will just like glow those colors. You can also even, if you have like a little fog machine um, and you're really like into Halloween and that's your thing, you could even set up like a little mini 
fog machine behind the houses. I've actually been looking at one um, on Amazon, so I think I might get it um, because I think it would be really cool to have like fog kind of around these little houses as well. So anyways, super inexpensive to do. Just the paint, you know, which obviously you'll have a lot of leftover paint you can use for multiple projects. Really, it was like a $2 project because you know, you can stretch your paint out with other things and then you can also stretch out those little wood blocks with other DIYs as well. So I'm really only counting the, for the $2, the house and then the wood block, the base of it, but I guess technically it would be $4, right? But anyways, I digress. So super cute DIY and yeah, it's my number one favorite. This next DIY was actually last year's 2020 and it's such a great project to do, especially if you're really into those um, green and beige and cream colors for Halloween and you don't want to take it, you know, with the typical like traditional black and orange and green and purple Halloween colors. This DIY is definitely for you. Last year I did decorate very differently than from how I did it this year. There are a ton of like decorating videos on my channel, by the way, for Halloween if you want to check them out. Actually, I'm sorry, for fall. I haven't done Halloween yet. But anyways, so what I did was I took these skulls from Dollar Tree and I wanted to paint them white because they just had um, detail, like already like detail to them that Dollar Tree had done and I just wanted them to be like one solid color. And then I took moss from Dollar Tree and then just made them look as if, you know, these skulls have been hanging around for hundreds and hundreds of years in a, in a deep forest somewhere, you know, just collecting moss. So that was really the goal and I tried to make each one of them as different, you know, as possible. And and all of these items are still available at Dollar Tree this year as well. So um, it'll be an easy DIY for you to complete. Just a little bit of spray paint, a little bit of hot glue, and there you go. Uh, you know, I could have made a bunch of these little like fence gates or like whatever these things are called. Um, and I actually made different decisions. You can see here that I put up the, the fence part and then I ended up taking it away because I liked the idea of the skulls alone with just the black candlestick holders. I think that was kind of random. I was chopping up the video clips from like my original video. So I think I clipped out a few things that probably should have been in that video. But I will link the originals down below so that you can see like the full video and me talking about everything specifically if you need it. So moving on to the next DIY. So I wanted to just find a way to take existing decor that Dollar Tree sells for a dollar, but giving it a twist and changing it up. You know, so like for example, this was a garden steak. I wanted to make it table decor. And that's simply just really the DIY for you guys, showing you how easy it is to take something that is made for a different area um, and you can you know upcycle it change it for a different space and it's really that easy i just took i think the back of a picture frame as you saw and then i hot glued it to that now this diy i actually really love too it's probably like top three top five somewhere in there and honestly because one i feel like it looks authentic and two because it was just it's so easy like what you just paint this add a little bit of glue dots to the back and then throw it on a chalkboard and that's the entire concept i love seeing like chalkboard you know pictures on pinterest and instagram and just like going to a coffee shop and they you know make them look so fancy i just don't have like the handwriting skills for this so if you are feeling the same way this diy is definitely for you because all you have to do is get these little like wood chips and these are available still at dollar tree this year as well um and you just paint them white so that they look like chalk paint you can also paint them you know any color that you want as well like there are obviously a lot of different colored chalk markers and things like that. I just wanted it to have like that authentic white chalk look. And then once it was dried, I just added these little glue dots from Dollar Tree and then I added that to an existing 
chalkboard that I already owned and it just kind of looked like that I had drawn the you know the trick-or-treat on there myself because the wood chips are so thin that it really doesn't look like an additional layer on top of the chalkboard and it's just that easy so I love this DIY as well This next DIY was also from 2020, it was last year. The thing about this one is that I have not seen Dollar Tree put out these mats out again, um, but definitely comment down below and let me know if your stores are still seeing them, but you can definitely do this with, you know, any mat concept, even if you don't pick it up necessarily from Dollar Tree, maybe it's Dollar General or Hobby Lobby or wherever Michaels, um, but you can also do this with place mats at Dollar Tree as well. So I just take this rope and that is sold at Dollar Tree um, I'm still seeing this product there now so you should be easy to find and then all I did was just hot glue it to the back as a method to you know hang this more as a wreath rather than like a floor welcome mat and it was really that easy these mats were so spectacular I can't believe Dollar Tree did these I really wish that I was still seeing them again this year because they're just so good and they turned out super cute. This is also a 2020 DIY from Dollar Tree and I remember this one very vividly because when I was done I thought it was the cutest thing I'd ever done. Um, they are these apothecary jars which on their own, the way that Dollar Tree sold them with just the color jar and then the, the sticker, it was honestly just cute the way that it was but I wanted to find a way to like just give them a little bit more of a flair and I'm showing you in this step-by-step -step process how I did that. Just taking creepy cloth and some ornaments and then some spiders and that was it and just like you know getting it all um added together and gluing it all down it was super easy holds up so well um when i stored them away and i just saw them the other day they're just still in the exact same condition so it just ages incredibly well um especially you know when you when dealing with hot glue sometimes storing decor that you've done from dollar tree can tend to fall apart a little bit you can definitely use e6000 glue if you want um, that would be the best bet especially if you have it on hand um, but i did use hot glue in this scenario and i actually wanted my bottles to be a little bit more on the monochromatic side so like with the orange bottle i added the orange ornaments and spider and then the pink with all the pink and the black with all the black. So um, I thought it turned out super, super cute and I love this one as well. Now this DIY is an oldie but goodie. It was quite a few years ago. You can, I don't know if you can tell, but it was a the house that I lived in before the one I'm in now, but it still holds up true to this day because you can easily still do this with Dollar Tree candles and lettering. So I'm showing you guys how I created this um, like, 
cake stand uh, and then yeah I'm throwing up the picture of what inspired me to do this DIY and that's the thing I love scrolling on Instagram and seeing all the cute pictures and then trying to find a way to recreate those same decor pieces from Dollar Tree and that's what I'm attempting to do with this so I'm showing you guys how I made the stand that's gonna hold the um, the candles that say 31 and I do prefer like a black matte paint by the way they're like three bucks at Walmart and I've used them for across so many projects and it was that simple just use a little bit of hot glue but again here you could just go with E6000 it would be a lot better with glass but hot glue does hold up um, and then I have these candles from Dollar Tree and then you can see I also got poster letters from Dollar Tree as well and then I'm just taking the um, the you know the letters to make the boo candles and then each candle gets its own letter and that's how I created that and then with the numbers because Dollar Tree did not have the numbers in black I had to make them from scratch so you're gonna see how I end up doing that basically I think I took poster sticker letters that had the numbers um, from Dollar Tree but they weren't black they were like a different color and then I used it as a tracing mechanism um, yeah right here so this little set had the numbers and then I take black scrapbook paper that was matte that kind of that matched you know the matteness of the the boo letters just to make it all look cohesive and then you can see here that I basically glued it down and then I just cut around it and I didn't, I didn't peel off the, the stickers. I just left it as is. There was no need for me to, to peel it off. And then just cutting them out and then adding them, gluing them to the candle. And then that was it. So incredibly easy. And um, yeah, should be easy to find these candles and those letters at Dollar Tree as well. Remember earlier when I mentioned that I used to have my number one favorite DIY before the spooky house silhouette took over as number one? This is the DIY that I was referring to, this candy bowl. It's pretty simple, but I love this thing so much and it's so cute and it was, again, incredibly easy to do. I'm showing you guys all of the products I picked up from Dollar Tree to do this and just, yeah putting it together, adding the little fish bowl to the candlestick holder also from Dollar Tree, uh, using that hot glue again, but you know, go E6000 route just so that it can last longer. Mine is still completely put together and I've moved, I've put it in different spots and it's still going strong with the hot glue. Um, and then that was it. The, it. Now it's a matter of just filling this bowl. And so I'm adding little like spooky worms, um, and then adding the skulls. Obviously these skulls are plastic, you can't eat them. Um, but you know, I don't have any like small kids at home. So for me, this is like an acceptable DIY. But if you feel like you have kids, I would probably like try to eat the skull. You, you may wanna, you know, opt out of this or just leave it like for the adults kind of thing. But this DIY is so cute and would be absolutely charming in an entryway. And then you can add like the little, you know, tongs so that they, you know, your guests or whoever can just use those to pick up the, the worms. But yeah, I love this DIY. Honestly, looking at it now, I feel like it's just tied with the silhouette houses. This next DIY is actually my attempt at doing dupes. So taking things that I've seen from Pottery Barn and I'm showing you guys here the website and finding the items that I was trying to recreate and then the cost of what, you know, Pottery Barn was selling it for versus, you know, what it cost me to put it together from items from Dollar Tree. So I'm showing you guys like the candlestick holders and how much they were from Pottery Barn and then just how to do them yourselves from Dollar Tree and it really it came down to some spray paint 
and that was it. And like I mentioned before, and you've seen in the previous DIY, whenever dealing with Halloween DIYs and using that spray paint, you will use it across multiple projects. So that $3 is going to be such like good money spent, if that makes sense. Um, you can see here that I'm using a flat black and then taking these candlesticks from Dollar Tree, and that was it. And they make them in a variety of sizes in terms of height, so um, yeah, they're, they're super awesome. Dollar Tree still sells these exact candlestick holders to this day, and that was it. And then you can take the, the tapered candles and then put them inside, and it looks just like the ones from Pottery Barn. The next DIY I think is, uh, which one is this? Is this the book stack or, yeah. So I really liked the whole film reel concept, but um, at the time I didn't know really how to like recreate that. I'm sure if I went back to Dollar Tree today, you could find a way to get like some sort of like circular thing, um, maybe in like the children's toy aisle and then creating like that that film reel very easily. Um, but for this video, I'm showing you guys how I did the book stack and then the crows. So what I usually do is I go through the books at Dollar Tree and I look at the inside of the book. I take off the covers and I wanna see what color the actual book is. So you can see here that they have that Halloween-y look. You know, the black books with like the white writing, the red white writing, and you know, things like that. So, um, so yeah, so then once I have all of the books that I really love, all I did was stack them together. You can even glue your books together if you wanted to and make it like a permanent piece of decor, or you can just simply stack them and leave it alone. And then I took these Dollar Tree Crows and then I just glued him to the top book and that was pretty much it. It's just such a nice little DIY, you know, tuck it into like a little corner or nook or a console table or something and there you go. The next one was this vase. You can see here it's like a creepy vase with the hands and I said, yep, I can do that with Dollar Tree stuff too. And Dollar Tree still sells both of these items as well. And you can obviously spray paint it any color that you want. You saw from Pottery Barn they had more of like a light gray or creamy off-white face, but I decided to do mine all matte black. And I did take, I think, a knife to cut at like the joint, yeah, of the candle so that it would fit. And then it was just perfect. Once I made that cut, it was just absolutely perfect. And then all you do is spray paint and glue it down. And that's it. You know, not even a fraction of the cost of what Potter Pottery Barn was selling theirs for. But anyways, those are all of the DIYs for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and got any inspiration from all of the DIYs I've done in the past. There are a lot more Halloween DIYs to come. I'm going to be doing a whole candy corn theme of DIYs for you guys, so stick around. I'm very excited. But what I have been doing is putting my Halloween DIYs at the end of my haul videos. And really that's kind of like what prompted me to do this video. But Anyways, just to let you guys know, more DIYs coming up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.